Hi, I'm Paul Sayer of the charity Prostate, and we're delighted to be joint beneficiaries of the profits from Sir David's new book, Eyes and Ears. Appropriately, Prostate, the charity, began life in 2018 in South End-on-Sea in Sir David's constituency. And ever since that formation, Sir David has been an invaluable supporter and resource, even becoming a patron of the charity. He has helped us to grow very rapidly into a national force, and we now share seats on an all-new, all-party parliamentary group, exploring the rollout of new, minimally invasive treatments for cancer. I have to say that um, following reading the book, even I feel like a seasoned parliamentarian now. Um, I was amazed at the inner workings and machinations and of course the gossip of Westminster. So it's, it's, a, it's a worthwhile read for sure. Um, the charity name, Prostate, is P-R-O-S-T with the number eight. The eight importantly represents the one in eight men in the UK who will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. So with an average of 24 million adult men in the UK at any time, that means over 3 million will be affected. And right now, one man dies on average every 45 minutes of every day from prostate cancer. In the next 10 years alone, another 500,000 men will have a new prostate cancer diagnosis. But about 120,000 of those will only have low to medium level treatable cancer. Despite that, over 95% of these will only be offered the same invasive treatments offered to men with advanced cancer. That being radical surgery to remove the prostate completely or radiotherapy for five days a week for about five weeks. Both of these can and do result in radical life-changing outcomes, including permanent incontinence and loss of sexual function. This impacts men's physical, emotional and psychological welfare. It changes these men's lives and that of their family and partners. These treatments are essential and highly effective in advanced cancers, but are overkill for many thousands with an early stage cancer. Fortunately, there are some credible newer minimally invasive treatment options available right now in the NHS. But as there are only three or four hospitals offering these treatments, all in the south of England, capacity and availability needs to increase. In August, we're launching a brand new and very high profile campaign, appropriately named One in Eight, to let men know they have choices and to address capacity by raising three million pounds to buy, donate and deploy six focal therapy suites into strategic NHS hospitals across the UK to increase coverage and to accelerate access to the treatments. Why am I involved? Well, I was very nearly one of those men having myself had prostate cancer in 2018. However, I was fortunate enough to receive one of these amazing new, minimally invasive focal therapy treatment options that the NHS are pioneering. I have my old life back and I want to ensure that as many men as possible share that outcome with me. So, with the help of Sir David, the parliamentary group, the One in Eight campaign, and also aided by the profits of his book, of course, we aim to make a huge difference to the lives of thousands of men and their families in the coming years. If you have any prostate concerns, just visit our website, prost8.org.uk. Remember the number eight in the name. So every best wish with eyes and ears to David. It's a great book, a great read, and we thank you once again for your support.